Hello. Welcome to Air Ancient Research. Since you are looking at this video, I hope you are interested enough to subscribe and support me with what I'm trying to do. Many of the things that are involved in making a compressed air engine is fairly complicated and it's difficult to explain without showing you uh, videos and pictures of what I've been doing and in the videos I also will explain what I'm doing and make it more clear that way. New viewers, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up or thumbs down if you think you're interested in what I'm doing. And also for you longtime subscribers, I really appreciate you hanging in there. Please give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. So let's go ahead and watch the rest of my presentation for today. A little bit out of balance. And I don't understand how it can. I made the two and a half inch at the same time and I made the two inch at the same time. So they're all the same size. And they're all the same thickness. So how can they be out of balance? I don't know. I'll just have to put a little counterweight somewhere on it to try and correct it. This is what the drive eccentric will look like and what the valve eccentric when they're finished. This is the drive with the cylinder. This is the valve, and that's the valve body. But I see a problem already. Once the units are assembled and the valve drive is put where it belongs, these are going to be hitting the side of the valve or kink in the airline if, if there's enough room maybe to get it in there, but that's going to have to be changed. I won't have a problem with uh, modifying it because there's nothing that really affects up here. The, the shaft in here doesn't go that far. So all I'm going to have to do is take it and turn it sideways, and drill a hole through the side, and then I'm going to have to modify this down in here to allow this because it's too wide to go in between. I'll have to make a, probably a, an attachment like I got here where it have a, a bolt sticking out that the thing can attach and screw into the valve shaft. 
something I'll have to change and work on, but. Well, I've got a couple of the cylinders hooked up now, and uh, been working on trying to get timing done on it to where it might run. I've never, never had it run yet, but I've been working on the timing, and I'm thinking maybe here thanks for hanging in and I'll be making another video before it's too long uh, I have some more modifications to make and I'm still working on making the valves uh, as airtight as possible but thanks again for checking in till next time <laughs>